Welcome to BCH Technologies. Today we're going to do a standard drill and refill for HP 63 cartridges. The HP 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, and the 65 cartridges, and all the like 21, those regular cartridges look at, look like those squares. Those are integrated cartridges, which means the cartridge and the printhead are built into one unit. Once we replace the cartridge, we also replace the printhead. Therefore, the printer itself only serves as a mechanical paper provider, and uh, we'll have a new printhead each time we change the cartridge. If you are new to refill, please watch the other video. I'm going to post the link here about the integrated cartridge. You'll have a better understanding of how refill works and how to deal with the different situations. There are a few necessary things to know before we are starting the refill process. One is the warning message. The printer will complain about the used or counterfeit cartridge detected. We'll need to click OK to dismiss the warning. Uh, today we're going to use uh, some cartridges that we bought from eBay. If you go to eBay and search, for example, we search for 623 empty, and then you can see the people sell the empty cartridges for like a dollar or like a one to five dollars. So we get a pair of uh, those used cartridges. The first thing we do is put it in the printer and make sure it's. We'll put the cartridge into the printer and make sure the cartridge doesn't have any electronic problems. If the yellow hazard light is blinking, like then we'll take the cartridge out and uh, use a paper towel to clean the electronic ribbon on the back. After a few tries, if the hazard light is still blinking, then we'll discard this cartridge and uh, get another replacement. Okay, our cartridge is working, it just doesn't have any ink in it. For dried cartridges, we'll use a smartphone to zoom in and check its printhead. Uh, if we do not see any scratches or uh, permanent physical damages, We'll put the cartridge in, in warm water and soak for one or two hours. For tough dried inks, we'll use a BCH cleaning solutions to soften the clock. The water and the, the cleaning solution will soften the clock, but it's, it will not remove it. And you need some action, such like sucking or pushing, to remove the clog. The cleaning solution can be found at the BCH Technologies and under Accessories, and then go to Anti-Clocking Agent. And in this case, we're using a triple action cleaning solutions. We'll show you how to unclog it after we refill it. Uh, it, there's no set of time how long you're going to, you're going to so, uh, soak it. Um, I, know, I normally do 20 minutes to an hour, and uh, you can do more, like 2 hours, 3 hours, and uh, you probably want to repeat it. Uh, for the black, there are 5 holes hiding behind the label. If we take the label off, you're going to see that we're going to use a toothpick or a needle I run it across the top of the cartridge to determine where, the, where the, those holes are. Uh, I'm going to take the, the label off just for demonstration. Uh, please try to determine the holes without removing the label, uh, as it's much easier to refill. Uh, so we can see there's a hole here, and then uh, there are, uh, there's air channels. What happens is HP do not want to seal the uh, do not want to seal the cartridge airtight, so it need to let the cartridge breathe when it's working. So uh, it have those, those air channels connected to the hole. So basically, we're just going to poke a hole, refill it, 
and uh, put another label, uh, put another uh, a sticky label on the top. You can use any kind of labels. You can use packing tapes, you can use uh, clear tapes, whatever you want. The color cartridge also has five holes. The top hole is a color. Then the two holes on the left hand side is a color. And then two holes on the right hand is a color. We don't post the color sequence here because HP is making two versions of cartridges now. Where the magenta and the yellow, uh, they are swapped. So check the color sequence before refilling. Let's take a look inside the cartridge. XL cartridge have a larger sponge that occupy the whole cartridge. However, for non-XL cartridge or startup cartridges, HP builds this little wall and they use a smaller cartridge. Therefore, the sponge size will limit the amount of ink used. <laughs> Allergies. We're going to push a needle through the hole and penetrate the sponge, then pull off a little bit to release the, a small amount of ink. We'll do it carefully and not penetrating the filter underneath the sponge. So our plan is only, at maximum, only use half of the needle. Our goal is to make the sponge moist, rather than fill it up with the uh, fill it up the whole sponge with ink. If the sponge cannot hold the ink, the excessive ink will flow out uh, from the printhead and make a mess. Let me pretend to refill it. So we're going to squeeze seven times. And after that, you can see uh, we put enough ink in it, but the, the sponge is not soaked. You can see the regular version of a color cartridge, uh, the, those, sponges, those sponges are tiny. So we're going to only do uh, three squeezes on, the, on this. So you can see it's not it's not uh, super precise, and uh, you might still have some ink left. So uh, you make a judgment whether you want to squeeze three times or four times. Okay, let's work on the real thing. Uh, so we'll f try to find the middle hole. cannot find it so I'm just brute force and uh, peel the label off see where it is and I'm going to use half the uh, half the, the needle so I'll maybe put my finger there as a guard and I push it in and then pull up a little bit and start squeezing If we overfill, that's okay. Uh, we just need uh, to leave the uh, cartridge in the printer for a while. And you can see the uh, the, the ink is start coming out. I'll just let, add a little bit more. And the black is done. We'll do the same thing for the color.
So the top is one color, and the two on the right is one color, and the two on the left is one color. The top one is magenta. And the one on the left is yellow. So the one on the right must be cyan. And we write the color sequence on a piece of paper. And now remember, do not penetrate too deep and only do three squeezes, three to four. Okay, that's three, and uh, it already overflowing. See, we push in, then we pull up a little bit, so it can, uh, oh, three, so it can release the ink. We just put a piece of uh, clear tape over the holes. See, we only cover the top hole, uh, half of the top hole, and we leave the bottom two hole open, so we will have enough air to for the, to breathe. Or if we cover up the whole thing and uh, we want to poke a little hole just make sure it's not airtight and now we can install the cartridge and then run a cleaning cycle uh, run one, one or two cleaning cycles until the cartridge begins to print correctly if the, print, if the cartridge is still not printing correctly, the refill process might introduce air bubbles on the bottom of the cartridge. We can let the cartridge sit overnight and uh, the bubble should be gone. If the clock persists, we can use tools to suck the air bubble or dry the ink out. Remember, uh, if we have dried ink, we need to soak it um, in the water or cleaning solutions to soften it. We can use a white paper towel and wrap around the cartridge. Then use a vacuum cleaner to suck it underneath. We should repeat it until we see colors coming out of the print line. Another tool we're going to use is called a priming clip. We can get it from bchtechnologies.com under accessories and the priming clips and syringes. You'll get a clip, uh, black clip and uh, two silicon pads. Uh, the shorter one is for the color and the longer one is for the black. The clip is really tight, so uh, there are some people complain that uh, the clip is too small. It's not too small, so you have you you just have to set it right and push it hard, and here we go. You don't have to have this clip. Um, you can use the vacuum method, uh, but clip is more convenient. And now, you should, when you draw the ink from the bottom, uh, you should feel pretty easy. It's like this one. So, if you f if you feel feel it's hard, uh, you need uh, to soften the clock again, and just uh, soak it in the water. Uh, when you put it in the printer, the printer may complain about uh, 
uh, used cartridge or counterfeit car counterfeit cartridge detected or low ink or ink depleted and you can hit OK or yes to dismiss those warnings and keep printing. The printer will not track the ink levels after refill, so uh, keep an eye on the print quality. And uh, if a color is missing or color is fading, refill, uh, refill it as needed. However, if uh, the, the error message is uh, cartridge cannot be found or uh, you see the cartridge uh, light, the, the cartridge indicator light is blinking. Uh, that may be something else. Uh, that may be you have a dry, you have ink uh, uh, splash in the back of the electronic ribbon, and uh, you want to take it out, clean it, and uh, put it back a couple times. And if it's still not working after a few times, probably the cartridge went bad, and you need to get a new one. Uh, just go to eBay and uh, search for your cartridge plus the word empty. To test how many pages a refilled cartridge can print, we tested our refill cartridge. Once the cartridge is inserted, the printer still thinks there's no ink in the color cartridge and only a small amount of ink left for the black cartridge, which we, which we discussed earlier. We'll just ignore all the low ink warnings and keep, keep using the, the cartridge. Uh, here's a bonus tip. If our printer doesn't print the alignment page correctly, we can still use the printer by pressing the scan button and light the printer to scan a blank page. Once the printer is ready, we started printing with our refilled cartridge. Here's a bonus tip number two. You can see we overfilled the magenta, so the magenta look horrible. Uh, here's what happened. If you have uh, too much uh, magenta, uh, the, the pressure will overpower the other two colors. So if you print, uh, the magenta will overrun other colors. You will be printing in magenta. If you let it uh, sitting in the car sitting in the printer is going to drip magenta and uh, what you do is actually <clears throat> there are two things you can do one thing is just take the cartridge out and uh, use over vac vacuum method to just suck some ink out um, by default the magenta you will suck out more magenta and uh, you can end up like uh, this so you suck up some uh, cyan and uh, yellow and uh, but you suck more more magenta out or if it's just a small amount, uh, you can you can just keep printing. And uh, when you print, uh, you consume magenta. Then then eventually, uh, you eventually your uh, your ink will be balanced. Okay. In this case, we keep printing, and let me show you after a couple pages what it look like. You got magenta is dripping, and then the magenta is overpowering the. Uh, cyan yellow. Now uh, you still got the strips of magenta coming out. Then after a couple pages uh, you're going to see uh, the printout is totally acceptable. And after about 10 pages we get a perfect printout. And these are the uh, modified refillable cartridges, which we modify, uh, modify the the sponge size, or we remove the sponge, and uh, we're going to test how many pages they they can print. So right now we only test the one that we refill, the regular HP sixty three cartridge. 
We put a green divider for every 50 pages printed. Uh, finally, we get the, the black color missing. So it's time to add the black ink. And let's see how many pages were printed. So we get 100. Maybe uh, actually not 100 uh, or two pages from 100. So we print 98 pages. Uh, don't forget our other videos, which you do some modification and uh, you either uh, replace to a larger sponge or you totally remove the sponge and whole, fill the whole thing with ink. But you need a pressure regulator to do it. And we'll see you how to do it in uh, the other videos. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you, bye.